Hey guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at the Acer's 1440p 27 inch 144Hz TN gaming monitor with 1 millisecond response time, the XG270HU, but with an in-depth focus on the AMD's FreeSync technology on which we'll get more into later on. Taking a look at the box, on the front you can see the picture of the monitor itself and on the sides again some featured overview, size measurements of the monitor and a detailed rundown of the specifications. Removing the box out of the picture, we are greeted with a quite good looking design of the XG270HU model. In the foreground of it, on the bottom we have this orange bar which holds down the Acer's logo, power on LED and underneath it few buttons for control and integrated stereo speakers. The rest of the design is dominated by the bezel-less look and the matte screen surface which is really helping in covering up that bezel. The 4 leg monitor stand gives you almost zero possibility of adjustment as you can only tilt it back and forward to a certain degree. Unfortunately you won't be able to put it on something more flexible like a wall mount or just a Visa compatible stand since it doesn't support it. The only thing you'll find back there is this very glossy surface which is also a great fingerprint magnet if you need one for practicing your forensic skills. For connections, backend hides one display port, one HDMI and one DVI-D video input, audio in and out jacks and power connector. In line with that from bundle you'll get power brick and the power cable, DVI-D cable, 3.5mm cable with male ends and a display port cable. Taking the monitor for a spin right away you can notice that this is a pretty average TN panel specimen when it comes to color reproduction, contrast and especially viewing angles which had a really noticeable color shift. Sharpness is on the level considering that this is a 1440p resolution screen while the 144Hz refresh rate and 1 millisecond response time really contribute to the overall immersiveness when it comes to gaming. The on-screen display and controls which are given through it provide some usual functions while being not so easy on the eye, which is also known as ugly looking. Down there you can change stuff like brightness and contrast and tinker with some basic color settings and Acer's presets. Although we spent a good portion of this video overviewing the Acer's monitor, it actually isn't in our focus, but rather the technology which it brings with it and that's the AMD's FreeSync feature. Yes, AMD finally released its version of the NVIDIA's G-Sync, AMD is being more affordable than the NVIDIA's one. Why is it more affordable you may ask? And the main difference which lowers the price is definitely the fact that the AMD FreeSync technology doesn't need an additional module or some kind of proprietary hardware while also making this standard open and license free. All you need is the Visa standardized adaptive sync technology which runs through DisplayPort 1.2a port and that's basically it. Just as the G-Sync technology, FreeSync also offers stutter-free and tearing-free gaming environment by synchronizing outputted frames from the GPU to the refresh rate of the screen. In combination with V-Sync technology, AMD promises smooth experience and we can actually confirm that. Our gameplay experience while listening to the pause and cars rambling in the background was on a positive note basically proving that this thing actually works. In combination with high refresh rate and pretty decent frame rates that we were getting using the R9290X, we didn't see any thering whatsoever through different game titles, just the occasional stutter here and there, but definitely not as intensive as it can be. Putting that aside, there is one but in this story. Taking a closer look at the AMD's FreeSync application demo, which is actually a good way of seeing how the technology works, especially when you fiddle around with some of the attached application settings, you can also notice the ghosting effect which amplifies with turning on the AMD's FreeSync. In this AMD's windmill demo, the ghosting effect is pretty obvious as you can see it here in this still picture and if you have a good eye for stuff like this, you will definitely notice it. Personally, we didn't notice it at all while playing games as a lot of more textures, shadows and other effects details are happening on the screen compared to the AMD's demo, so in practice it's not that big of a deal since it's hard to notice it as everything is mixed up and moving around. Bearing in mind that this ghosting effect doesn't have to be related with the FreeSync technology itself, but rather with the monitor panel as we still have yet to see and try other brands and models. 
Enabling the free sync is as easy as enabling the crossfire in AMD's control panel center. Just go to the My Digital Flat Panel tab on the left, and under Properties, right on the bottom, you can see the AMD's free sync technology section with a tick box for enabling it. Just apply it, and you're good to go. As for the FreeSync supported graphics card, AMD listed out some of the models from R7 and R9 series as you can see it here. And to that list we would like to add the HD7790 since it's based on the Bonaire GPU architecture found in the R7 260 and 260X, which also support AMD's FreeSync. Together with their partners on the launch day, AMD secured few different models and brands of the monitor supporting the FreeSync technology, and those are all overall a bit cheaper than the G-Sync ones, while also having a bigger pool of models to choose from. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and overview of the Acer's XG270HE monitor and the AMD's FreeSync technology. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our TechTech YouTube channel where you can check out our other videos from before.